Hi guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to another Urban Informatics and Design tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on how to spice up your map box maps with icons and images. To start, we're just going to open up a monochrome map. As you can see, it's pretty dark and boring at the moment. So let's liven it up a bit. To start, we're going to We'll, 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 let's let's fix the water first. So let's go to water. First, override, and usually you just slap in a color like this or this. Yep, yeah, that's water. But today we're going to go one step further. Let's go to pattern, override, and as you can see, it gives you all these nice icons. But unfortunately, they are pretty limited. For example, if I just chuck one of these in it doesn't really make much sense and there's not really image not really a lot of icons that match with water as you can see so what we're going to do is we're going to insert our own so let's go to add or remove images custom upload image as you can see it says drag or drop svg file it will only take svg files and it will only take files that are less than 400 KB. So, let's, how do we, where do we find files like that? Well, you can go to Mackie Icons, which is owned by Mapbox, as you can see here. It's got a wide range of icons, but again, nothing really jumps out at me. I tried looking at other free icon sites like this, and again, just kind of bland, boring 2D vectors. So what we're going to do, let's just go Google Images, Wave Pattern, I found this one here that I like, save image, save, right, let's go open that up, Oops, that it. let's open that one up here, Wave Pattern, and what we're going to do to decrease the size because like I said it will only take 400 KB or less let's just shrink it let's crop it right down make sure there's no imperfections you're getting the image you want you want to make it relatively small because it will not take anything big let's save that looks good enough that's it now we're going to go to any photo to SVG as you can see, I've already done one here. What we can do is choose a file. Any file. Where was it? I think it, I believe it was this one. All right. You want to drop the colors down to two. Maybe oh, simplify it up to three or four. Let's keep it at three. Generate. And it's going to give you something along the lines of this cool and simple you want to download that make your way back to here back to mapbox select that file okay let it load in done now this is it here it's going to pop up with all the other icons down here let's go scroll down a bit and there we go this is the final result as you can see it's got that cool funky wave design over it now and you can do this with anything you can do it with lands roads buildings anything same technique anyway guys thanks for watching hope you like this tutorial till next time